everyone, I am Priya from Hobby Ideas. I am going to share a craft idea on how to make a shilpakar bowl and decorate it further using volume decoupage flowers. These bowls you can use for tabletop decoration or you can keep a tea light inside or you can do some dry flower arrangement. So let's see how we do it. The material that we are going to need is Fevicryl Shilpakar and we are going to need about 13 packs of Fevicryl Shilpakar. It's got a raisin and a hardener. When mixed together to form an even white dough. You can mix two packs of Shilpakar at one time, two to three packs of Shilpakar at one time as you are constructing the bowl because Shilpakar, once mixed, will dry in about 30 to 45 minutes. So as and when you need to construct something, you need raisin and hardener together then. You can see it formed into a nice even white dough. Roll it into a nice round ball. It's still soft. So we will have to let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes till it hardens a bit. And then we are going to roll this epoxy putti or shilpkar in coils. Let's roll it and keep it aside. We have this shilpkar ready that we have kept for 10 to 15 minutes for drying. I'm going to cut it into a smaller ball. Roll it nicely. Then roll it into a cylinder and make coils. You can make thick and thin coils as per you wish to. The coils that I have made are about 5 mm thick. Start coiling it from the center and go towards the edges. Roll it nicely into even coils. Roll as long coil as you can. We are going to use a plastic bowl as a mold and then we are going to construct a shilpakar bowl over that plastic bowl. I am using this bowl which is about uh, 8 inches in diameter and 5 inches tall. You may take little talcum powder and spread it on the bowl to avoid shilpakar sticking on the bowl and start rolling the coil around. Take the extra coil on the shilpakar and it will stick. Let's roll another coil in the same way as we did the earlier one. We have to go on building up the bowl using these rolled coils and sticking them one on top of the other to complete the bowl. Let's take it around where we have this first coil ending. Stick it here and take it around. Just in case if you feel that the shilpakar is hardened enough and is not sticking to each other, you may also use no stitch fabric glue to stick these coils one on top of each other. But if shilpakar is properly wet, then you don't need to use the glue. So using these coils, we will go on building up the bowl around this plastic bowl which is used as a mold and I will show you the one that we have ready. So we have this full bowl ready that I am going to colour using water-based glass colours. Before I colour it using water-based glass colours, I am going to add one coil of shilpakar and pierce some holes because I need to do the decoration using craft wire. So let's roll a coil. I have a shilpakar raisin base and hardener kneaded properly. And we will stick it on top of this bowl. So the topmost layer of shilpakar here is already dried but since we are using a wet shilpakar coil on this, there is no problem with the sticking, it will stick nicely. And join the ends. And we will make the holes using toothpick. 
I'm going to pierce some holes here with a gap of about 1 inch. Pierce it properly so your holes are big enough from inside as well. I am redoing it. Let the toothpick come out properly from the other side. And here we are done. We will leave this for drying for some time. In the meantime, I am going to show you how to use volume decoupage sheets which are printed with floral designs. These are volume decoupage sheets that we have here and these flat flowers that you can see, we are going to bring them into a raised effect or 3D effect. You get variety of flowers uh, in volume decoupage sheets. You can choose the flower that you would want to use for the decoration and cut them nicely. I am using this pink flower and cut it nicely along the edges of the flower. And here I have this flower which is flat. I want to raise it into a relief or I want to raise it into a 3D effect. We are going to use embossing pad and embossing tool to bring this flower into relief. So let's see how we do it now. This is an embossing pad. You get different thicknesses of the tip of the embossing tool. We are using this one. Hold this flower over the flame of the candle, say about at a distance of one inch. You can see the flower deforming or deshaping. It becomes soft with the heat and we are going to emboss it from the back side. If you're not happy with the embossed effect that you have got, you can reheat it and emboss it again. And I have this embossed flower ready. We have some ready embossed flowers that we are going to use to decorate our bowl. So we have this bunch of embossed flowers ready with us. Before we go ahead on sticking these flowers and colouring the bowl, I am going to use some wire spirals for decorating this bowl. So I'll show you how to make these spirals using craft wire. I have this golden coloured craft wire. I am going to take a brush and turn the wire around it. So we will need about 8 to 10 such spirals made from the craft wire and I will colour the bowl now. So we are going to use water based glass colours and I want colour shades like pink and blue because if I mix pink and blue I will get a little purplish colour that will match these flowers that I have already embossed. So I have a blue colour and I have a pink colour. You can choose the colours, you may use a green colour or a brown colour, whatever colour you choose, pour this colour in the palette. So let's take pink colour and then I'll add little strokes of blue just to give a nice uneven purple effect. Colour the whole surface. You can give two coats. We have given one coat which is a lighter coat. So the second coat will make it look little brighter and darker. So I have one ready that I can show it to you now. And we will keep this aside. So we have this one which is coloured. And I have also added these wire spirals. And now we are going to stick these volume decoupaged flowers on this bowl. We are going to apply a thick drop of no stitch fabric glue on the back of each flower and the leaf for sticking. And we will have to leave this glue for 10 minutes to dry and then stick the flowers. I have some flowers which are already withered glue and I am going to stick it on this bowl. Do the arrangement of the flowers as per your choice with leaves spaced in between and go on sticking the flowers around and we have this beautiful bowl coloured in glass colours and decorated with these volume decoupage flowers. 
for the love of craft visit www.hobbyideas.in